What's up guys, it's your boy Wings of Redemption and I'm bringing you a little commentary here and uh, this is me beating up a dragon priest. This is the dragon piece on the Archmage um, thing and I uploaded six hours, well I recorded six hours of Skyrim footage and then when I went to, went to render them out they had all pretty much chipmunk voiced so I'm just going to go ahead and give you the just through while watching this fight. This is a fight that people said I shouldn't have done at level 10 I was actually level 9 when I started this quest. And I did it anyway. And I was successful through strategy and controlling the engagement and all that other wonderful jazz. So I'm just going to give you a breakdown of what happened through this session of, of that so I can continue the let's play. And uh, there's going to be a big chunk of it missing and my character is going to be considerably stronger because of it. Alright. What ended up happening is I fought my way through the Labyrinthian. Which is a dungeon that uh, is really, really hard. I mean, it is. it was a hard, slow, grueling process. It took me at least three hours to get through the Labyrinthian by itself. And this is the boss fight at the end of it, which I'm, is the very first Dragon Mage. Um, one of the main reasons that the dungeon itself is so strong and hard to get through is because if you're playing a mage character like I am now, it's going to take your mana every time you get hit. Like this guy, when he hits you, he uses lightning-based attacks, which are bad for mages. Um, I suggest is using your slow time shout or dragon thing, which you actually get in the actual labyrinthian itself, and just pounding him with the spark spell. Don't use anything higher than the spark spell. Reason being is because you're gonna always be so low on mana, you want something that does, you want something that has good damage to mana ratio, which is the low level spark spells and like uh, light, and like frost spells. I use Spark because it drains his mana, but the fact is he has a Staff of Mangus on, and he also has this mask that has 100% mana regeneration, so it doesn't really hurt him too much, but it does give me a chance to get spells off. If you see right here, I'm using my environment to my advantage, just like I'm playing Call of Duty, but what I'm doing is, since he is a ranged NPC character, he uh, he'll pretty much won't won't try to follow me or fight me close close up, so I'm, us so I'm using... Uh, my quickness and aim, quickness and Call of Duty like aim to beat him up with the with the spark spell, just hitting him with that because with the spark spell it has initial damage hit, which is eight, and it does another eight damage over time, so it's 16 damage in total. So you just want to hit him with that over and over again and not hold it, and that's the best way to produce your mana, you know, mana to damage ratio, and you come out successful in this fight. Also keep in mind, you can save while in the middle of a fight, so you'll see me constantly just save once I get his health a good deal. Like every 25% of his health, just save in case you mess up and he gets those two hits off of you. I have 110 health on this mage character right here, and I can take two hits from his lightning bolts before I'm, for you know, going on to Sovngrod, or Lens Kragma's Icy Hall, as they used to say in Rainy New Fest books. And, um, yeah this is a really long fight I've got this thing sped up to the dead up and it's still taking a long ass time this fight right here by itself was probably 40 minutes long so it's a long grueling task but if you don't but if you're low level like this and you're trying to get arch magic really early this is probably the best way to do it or at least the best way I've found to do it so far there's probably tips and tricks somewhere else out there there's a lot there's a lot cheaper way of doing it but this is just a straight up beasting on this kid because he has such bad aim You'll start seeing me use like the time. I think I start I use the time right there. Boom! You see me use the time, then I go up there and just pound him with the spark spell. It doesn't take a lot of damage off, but it's it does more. It's faster than uh, constantly just hitting, hitting, dodge, hitting, dodge, hitting, dodge. Also, level restoration up a lot right here, mainly because of I'm always using it. And what I was actually going to do is what, like once I once I got restoration, restoration was about to level me up. So if I got to the level up, I was going pretty much switch over and do a time stop and use my uh, my firebolt spell which I had at the time there and I also tried there's also a period in the match where I actually tried to use the mark of death on him which is uh, which is a shout that you get from the uh, brotherhood of darkness but I, I missed with it I just gave up on it because the time spell works the best out of all the dragon shouts and you see me save again because he's almost dead thought ooh see right there's where I tried to get the I tried to get him with the uh, mark of death right there. Actually, I'll try it again here coming up. He keeps hitting me with this damn shit. 
Come on, baby. Get the Poppleteen on his ass. So that's pretty much what happens. And then there's the uh, you fight the you fight a mage at the uh, at the uh, Winter College, which you have to use the Staff of Mangus, which you get from this fight. And you pretty much just make that when he opens it up, you close it with the Staff of Mangus, and then you slow time and just bust his ass with like two or three fire bolts, and you call it a day. It's a real easy fight compared to this Dragon Priest. This Dragon Priest is, is really, really super hard. Let's see. Boom. Get him. Get him, pimp. Get him. You're done. Always play it safe. Defensive route's the best route to take in video games. Alright, here it goes. Ooh, ooh. No, he's coming up for me. I couldn't have that. Got him right there. He's done. And that's the ball game. Give me your staff. Give me your mask. Take your shit, son. And that puts me at that. That gives me over 200. Uh, all in all, it gives me over 200 uh, magic regeneration. So it's it's worth it. At least it is in my book. So it's been your boy Wings of Redemption, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and let you start off, and I'll pick this gameplay back up later. As you see right here, I'm struggling through it. Remember that the black mage robes is robes and a helmet put together. That's why I'm half naked while I'm looking at this. But it's been your boy Wings of Redemption. I'll catch you back up, guys, later. I'm now I am the Archmage, and I have access to adept level spells. Peace, people.